Hello, my name is Ariane Clark, and I'm here today to speak on behalf of Alternatives Pregnancy Center. The first sentence in fact sheet for a AB 710 addresses crisis pregnancy centers as fake. In 2019, I was faced with the crisis of a lifetime, an unplanned pregnancy, substance abuse issues, and homelessness. I made an appointment at Planned Parenthood to have an abortion. However, God had different plans. Alternatives Pregnancy Center kept popping up on my Facebook newsfeed. In no way was I derailed in my search. I could have easily gone through with an abortion at Planned Parenthood. I am forever grateful. I was offered an alternative. When I walked into APC, I was broken, hopeless, desperate. They met my desperation with kindness, compassion, mercy, and grace. Never was I shamed or misled. Nothing was fake about the crisis I faced or the help I received. Due to my substance abuse issues, my daughter was, after my daughter was born, she was placed in foster care. APC helped me to find a safe foster home for my daughter and paid for a hotel for me to stay in while I waited to get into residential treatment. They came alongside a woman in crisis in a way that abortion clinics would never be able to. I now partner with APC to help moms who are pregnant and have substance abuse issues. Through my crisis and testimony, they see they also have an alternative. A 19-year-old young woman named Elizabeth was referred to me by APC. She was addicted to fentanyl and just as hopeless as I once felt. After spending time with her and showing her that God makes a way in seemingly impossible situations, she chose life for herself and for her son. When I reached out to her and asked her about her experience at APC, she said, I truly feel like APC saved my life. Who knows, who knows where I would be without an, with an addiction and pregnant? I never felt pressured. Alternatives gave me hope, and my son is the greatest joy of my life. I will forever be grateful for them. I pray that you hear the testimonies of the women that are helped by APC and pregnancy centers like theirs. The verbiage used in AB 710 fact sheet are words such as fake, disinformation, shame, misleading, inaccurate, derailed, biased, in a complete contrast to the words that are being used in the real life testimonies of the women they help, which are hope, grace, compassion, kindness, mercy, and gratitude. I'm going to end with my favorite scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Please do not take away a free alternative to give, to give a woman in crisis the hope and future that they deserve. Thank you.